Hello and welcome to part five of this rating run on chess.com. I will be playing rapid games of 15 minutes with a 10 second increment. And in this series, I began with the lowest rating that chess.com would give you, uh, which I believe was 400. And so I've worked my way up to 995. Uh, I did have two ugly games so far in this series where I uh, got up over a thousand and then I, don't know, I played a terrible third game yesterday and so hopefully I'll try to do better today and not blunder. So let's begin here and find an opponent. Okay, I have the black pieces. My rating here so far is 995. They are 956. And so they play d4. All right, I will play knight to f6. Maybe try a king's Indian defense. All right. And so they are thinking um, King's Indian defense is good for getting your king safe quickly. And it does lead to a cramped position in the beginning. But here I will go d6 and hope to counterattack in the center with e5 or c5. But in this position, it's a little different. He has this bishop that can bear down here. So I may play this c6 move first to block the path of his bishop. Okay, so he continues development. I will move my rook here to help with a pawn push. And let's see, I believe I will develop this knight first to help cover here. And have I already made a error? I may have trapped my own knight here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think... I will capture in the center here, trying to free up my position a little. And we'll see what white does. I assume he will, yes, captures with his pawn towards the center. Okay, so now how can I fight here? How can I fight? Well, I think I will push forward with this pawn to allow my knight to move forward and not be harassed. Let's see if that plan will work. The only problem is he may push forward and have a good outpost for his knight here on b5.
And as we wait for White to make his move, I am a little cramped here. Possibly I could move a pawn up here to h6 to leave a escape route for my uh, knight in the future or to prevent this bishop from coming here to g5. And as we wait for white, I do need my pieces are still cramped pretty good, so I think next I will try to move this knight up here c5 okay so he he brings this piece up i think i will just attack it Okay, so he will probably retreat his bishop to e3 here and then try and bring his queen up to d2 to form a battery down here to h6 and exchange my defending bishop off. And maybe this knight move wasn't the best but it does harass the bishop but now this knight is on the edge of the board where it's not doing much okay i will be glad to exchange that piece off to give me more room and hmm Now I will move my knight into a good position here. And he will probably exchange that off, maybe, but then my bishop would come in here and attack his queen then he would have to move his queen he's probably trying to i don't know find a way to pile up on this f pawn but i think i'm defended here he has this weak pawn but if he exchanges off and in the future he can just move his bishop to protect this but Hmm, I don't know. I am still cramped a bit here. And I have to watch out for his knight coming into my position with a potential rook here on the C file and the knight jumping in to fork my rooks. So I need to move this bishop and... I think next I may push this F pawn and if he captures I can recapture with my bishop. Okay, so he does capture. I will recapture. Chasing his queen. Let's see where his queen decides to move. Okay. 
And now, hmm, a decision here. He's threatening to push forward, chasing my bishop back. And should I counter here first? I think I would do that. I think I would just attack in the center. And so, if he captures my f-pawn, I can recapture with the bishop, bringing it up to a better position. If not, I can move my bishop here. Alright, and that thread I mentioned earlier. So, I will go here. And get ready to swing my rook in. Okay. And possibly bring my queen here first. I think I will do that. Bring my queen in first. And now I can bring my rooks in to fight for the C file. Okay, now why did he move here? Hmm. Uh, to fight here if he moves the queen uh, I'm going to go ahead and take control of the C file if I can Now I have to be aware of this contact in the center here. And so if his knight jumps here, then I could capture here first after the knight is no longer protecting this. But if I wait, he captures, my bishop recaptures. He could fight with his bishop. So, anyway, I should be aware of this situation building in the center, but also cover the knight potentially moving into my position and try and control the C file. And so white is really calculating here. Okay, he is fighting for this C file as well. And so we must try to build up. On the C file as well. And the tension is building here. I want to swing my rook over here to form a battery, which he's probably about to move there right now. And he does. Okay, so I need to go for covering this.
and the game is building. It's, the pressure is building up. So it's only a matter of time before everything explodes. All right. What will he do next? Will he jump in to this position with his knight? Will he exchange in the center? Hmm. We shall see. We shall see. And he's really taken a while to think this move out. Either that or he's uh, punching it into a computer <laughs> to find the best move. I hope not. Just, just joking. All right. What, what will he do? He's really letting his time tick away on this. All right. Let's see. Make sure my king is safe. No surprise checks. Um, or my piece is safe. Right now they look okay. Uh, pawns, I have to worry about this exchange. If he captures here, then I can recapture. And then he can block. Otherwise I'm attacking his queen and rook. But he'll have to block probably with the bishop and then I could exchange off it would pull his queen up here hmm and then he could push forward well I do have a good diagonal lined up on his king but that, that may be something to watch out for my queen is unprotected. So, okay, he moves off of that diagonal. All right, what to do next here? Do I move my queen up? Do I move my queen up here? Getting into his position more. Okay. Possibly. That may be a good move. All right. Well. Do I bring my queen up and fight for the center? Possibly up and swinging over for an attack. I do have to be aware of this knight jumping in here. And what problems could occur from this knight jumping down in here? All right. This is probably the turning point in the game. So how do I want to proceed here? Um, hmm. Well, I could put pressure on this pawn. Like, move up here. Then my bishop and queen both attack. So I think I will do that. I think that's how I want to play this out. All right. So we'll move up here. I'm trying to get into his position. And what will he do? He'll probably, I imagine he may try and capture here to relieve that pressure that's building up. What other options does he have? Okay. Um, He captures, excuse me, he'll probably try and capture here because, I don't know, I'm slowly increasing pressure. 
if his knight tries to move forward, I could capture, um, or do I leave it there, exchange up here. Hmm. Yes, it's, it's getting tricky here. <laughs> All right. Get a drink of water. What will black do? Well, he moved the knight forward. If he moves his knight forward to b5, do I have, does that cause any issues? From there, I probably have to attack his queen first. But let's say if I capture there, his bishop comes in. He captures with his bishop here. And if I recapture, his queen comes in. And checks me and if I come back here to defend can that Queen do anything he could check me here if this Bishop wasn't there so uh, he's really thinking a lot in this move okay he attacks there so I could just attack here and see what he does. Could just take his pawn and threaten his knight. So is that what I should do? Hmm. Okay, I think I will do that. Okay, I'll capture that pawn. Now he may move his knight back and attack me again. Or he may exchange here down the C file. But I'm ahead in material, so the exchanges would benefit me. And so... Let's see what he decides to do. So, possibly, if he captures here, I recapture. He captures, and my pawn gets pulled over to here. And I think I would still be good in that position. Although, he could attack here. And that bishop could bear down on this pawn. Hmm. Well, he has to do something because now I have everything piling up here. Okay, so he decides to go with that. I will recapture. Okay, so he does that. Now, what options do I have? Do I attack his queen with my queen? think maybe that would be a good way forward. So, hmm, I think I may try that. Or do I counterattack? No, I say... Alright, he's attacking my queen, so I have to move the queen, but where is the best position for this queen. Do I move it back to here and just wait to see what he will do? Hmm. Or do I 
take control of the center here take control of the center but where would his queen maneuver to okay I think I'll just aim at this just aim at that pawn all right we'll do that for now we'll just attack his pawn if he moves his knight back up to attack me then I could capture and pull his knight back here to the back rank, which is not good. And I still have this attack here. So, let's see, let's see. And do I just swap off here? Do I just exchange off in the middle? You know, take his knight with my bishop. If he recaptures with the pawn, though, then my queen is just under attack. Okay, so he does that. Now here, do I just back up or do I just capture this knight? Hmm. Okay. I think, well... I'm ahead by one pawn, so I could just exchange off the pieces. All right, I'll exchange, see what he does next. He'll probably attack with the pawn and, yes, threaten my queen. Okay, so now do I attack his queen? Do I attack his queen with my queen here? All right, that is a possible plan. Okay, okay. Hmm. All right, I think I will just move my queen back, attacking his queen, and see what he does. So I'm attacking his queen. Where could he put his queen to give him a better position? Hmm. And I should probably just start marching this pawn forward. This past pawn. Use that to my advantage. Okay, so he does that, and now, hmm, hmm, okay, well here I could attack his rook, what could he do with that? So if I attack the rook, but I have to watch out for him moving his rook here, attacking my queen, and getting into my position that way. All right, all right. Well, I think we should probably just push this forward after moving the queen in behind here to protect these pawns 
and keep the pressure right here as well. Okay, I think that will work. I think we'll just have the queen in behind, try and push forward. And keep pressure on this c4 pawn as well. And his time is getting really low here. But I do need to start pushing this pawn forward. Try and get some activity there. And a good idea may be to get my queen on this diagonal to prevent his queen from controlling that. Okay, so he swings in there. I should probably just attack his queen. push both of my pawns forward. And now I'm putting more pressure. If he takes there, then Hmm, and I have an attack here. Okay, do I attack his queen? Do I just capture this? All right. All right, I say I would just push forward with my pawn, keep his pawn blocking in his own bishop. Okay. And then here, capture. And now he may try and threaten this, which I can protect with my queen. Okay. So I can do that. All right, I think I can go ahead and do that. Hmm. All right, we'll do that. We'll just protect that pawn. Will he double up on it with his queen? Okay, so he's putting pressure there. And how can we break through? And he is running out of time. So... What should I try next? I could move in here. Hmm. 
or do I move here to protect this? Okay, so I can move my queen here to c7 to back that up. But I may have to worry about his queen swinging in and trying to get this diagonal. So I think... Hmm... All right. How to play this out. All right, first we'll go here, which just prevents his queen from trying to slide in here and come down into my position. Okay, so now he's threatening to pile up there. All right, I'll just protect with the queen. Okay, so now he has done that. And he's aimed at my king also. So I need to be careful. And his time is low, and I have five minutes. So I can think this out a little bit. All right. Do I push forward here? Do I push forward? I think that's what we can try. We could try to push forward there, but I don't want him getting into my position and causing problems. So do I just capture here, or sorry, push this pawn. If he captures, I can capture with my bishop. All right, I think we'll do that, but I have to be careful of him pushing forward here and having this attack on my king. All right, we'll just do that. Try and open the position up where I can get some threats on his king. And he's running out of time. Okay, so now if I go here, capture that, the position is open, opened up a little bit on his, okay, so the position's opened up, now I can back up. cover this square from his queen attacking on e8 and I can also threaten to capture this okay so what is he trying to do here he's trying to check me there and so I can all right he has 20 seconds left I have 345 so do I move my queen here? If he captures, I capture. He gets this pawn, but I can move forward. All right. If he jumps down there. Okay. Do I just... Okay, I have to stop his queen. So, I think I will just go here. Now, if he gets that, 
I can go there. Can I protect this pawn though? Okay, so if I go here, queen to c6, he captures, I capture, he captures there, I can capture here. All right, I think we can try that. So now the queens, he'll probably capture my queen. I capture with the rook. Okay, he captures there. So now... I go here, attacking his bishop, he checks me, and I move, capture, capture, okay. Well, let's just start marching the pawns up. And... Alright, I have to get this king moving. Push this pawn forward, protect the rook, if he attacks I can protect it. Okay. Now I can attack again. Forcing his king and threaten a mate by moving forward. And here, can go there. And now he's in trouble. Okay. Oh, did I make a mistake there? I think I did. I think I did make a dumb mistake. Oh my gosh. A dumb, dumb mistake. All right. Oh, that was a ridiculous mistake. I gave up a pawn. Holy crap. Ah, oh, that was a blunder. Come on.
Okay, I have to give that up. And then... Let's see what to do here. What to do. All right, I think I should be able to pull this out. But I don't know, it's still tough. I let this game get a lot tougher than it should be. Than it should have been. All right. Ah. That was not smart. I should have just pushed this pawn forward. Well, he could have moved one of his pawns. All right. Study your end game. Study your end game. Sorry this one went on so long, guys. But we should be wrapping it up here shortly. I don't know if the second game is this long as well. I may only play two games today. Because yesterday I played three and it, it went really long. And here he made a mistake. So now I get control of the queening square. So he misplayed that position. So that's why it's good to know the king and pawn versus king. How to defend it and how to... Okay, so he resigned. Alright. Well, we got a, a long win there. And that game ended up being tougher than it should have been. But uh, we went up over a thousand in the rating to up to 1,020. Okay, we'll do a quick game review. Um, oh, some mistakes and blunders in this one. All right, so game review. Uh, for accuracy, it's calculating now. Oh my gosh, this game was a disaster. <laughs> uh, we both got in the 60s for accuracy, so... 64.1 for him and 66.3 for me. So I got a lot of work to do here to get back into uh, some good chess playing. All right. Intense. Nice win. You were never in trouble. Okay. So we both had some great moves. Um, we were pretty even in this game. Let's see. He had, I had some more inaccuracies, but he had more mistakes. I had some misses. He had two blunders and I had one. Mm. All right, let's see what the game review here says. Okay, King's Indian defense. And the next key move 
is well, it's really blasting through these moves pretty quick. So rook to c5 is a mistake, it says. So what should I have done? Instead of moving that rook up there, should I have just brought my queen up here to attack his queen? I don't know. We'll see what it says is best. Should I have captured in the center? I, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe bring my queen up. It says best. What, oh, so to bring my queen up here, which is what I did later in the game, but it's saying I should have brought my queen up to here, which I guess helps cover, you know, attack this pawn here. Hmm. Well, let's see here. So eventually I did go up there, and it said... This was a miss. I only had one good move in that position, so I should not have taken the pawn. Interesting. Should not have taken the pawn. Yeah, sometimes I know people get greedy and want to grab material, but many times it's not good to go after those pawns. Let's see what the move is that I should have made. Hmm. That's very interesting. It's saying I should have captured here and then leaving my queen under attack. Interesting. So rook takes c2. And then it's saying if he captures, oh, then I check there. But I'm wondering what, how it would have played out if he captured my queen. Let's take a quick look at that. Okay, um, so here, if I let my, if I captured, let my queen get captured, so if I go there, and then if he captures my queen, I have check, he would have to block here, hmm, Well, I mean, I would get the two rooks for my queen, and this knight would be captured. Okay, so I overlooked some tactical opportunities there. Okay, so the game played out here. Capturing was not the best move. I missed an opportunity to capture a free pawn, and I permitted the opponent to kick my queen. So, best would have been, ah, another little tactic. Capturing here, if he captured, I capture with check. And once this is gone, I threaten the knight. Okay, I uh, have to brush up on these tactics. I'm hoping the more I play, things will improve. I'll get slowly get my tactics, uh, tactical vision a little better. Okay, this was a mistake. Best was, hmm, attacking, which maybe I did that later. All right, let's see how it went. Um, so that pawn push was a mistake. I missed a better way to create a pass pawn. Yeah, probably, hmm. Okay, capturing with that, interesting. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. But here I thought he could just capture. Hmm. Well, then I guess I could pile up on the position Interesting, interesting. And then I have this under attack. All right. So here, this was a mistake, trading queens like that. Yeah, probably because I gave up this pawn. Best was pushing forward. Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, that makes sense. If he captures, I can capture. Uh, and capture with. Okay. Oof. Work on those tactics, guys. Work on the tactics. F5 is a great move. I evade the check from the rook. There was only one good move and you found it. Okay, here, this is a great move. Um, stop your opponent from being, a being able to play checkmate. Oh, that's true. Ooh. He's threatening a checkmate right here. So that's something that I overlooked. So he's forced back. Ah, and then this blunder. This blunder right here. Giving up my pawn. So best was checking him. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Checking him, but then what? How does that follow? Show the moves. So then it, once he moves, I check him. Oh, and I capture over here. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. All right. A lot of work to do to improve. All right. Rook to c3 is a great move. I blocked the check from, there was only one good move and I found it. Okay. Rook to e3 is a great move. He captured. All right. Summary. <laughs> yeah, we both played pretty awful in that game. All right. So... Opening accuracy, 89, 93, so I, I did a little better there. Oh, middle game, 49.8. We had horrible middle game accuracy. And end game, so I did a little better in the end game. All right, that was really rough. Let's dive into, I'll just do one more game today because this went on pretty long. And for those that are still hanging around, thank you. And let's dive into a new game. All right, I have black. Let's see. Black again. Uh, let's try another King's Indian defense and try and play it better this time. And it looks like he's doing a London system. do next okay he leaves a little escape route for his bishop we'll develop our knight and next I want to get my rook here and then I can try and push forward with this e pawn Just see how it goes, see how it goes. All right, so he brings in more protection. So he has three protecting. I only have two attacking there. So do we attack on the opposite side here? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Do we just push forward? Okay. Well, do we play a waiting move? 
Okay, I think we need to fight for control of the center. So he's preventing me from doing that. Where is he? So if I go here, he captures. I capture. He captures. So, all right. So e5, capture, capture. He captures. I capture. Let's do it. Let's go for some central control here. Fight for the center. All right, so he does that. I'm going to capture. And I do have to watch out for... Hmm, well that was interesting. That was interesting. Do have to watch out for the threat of trying to... Well, his queen... Alright, let's just attack his knight. Pushing him back. And now we will trade off some pieces and now develop my bishop possibly okay okay yes probably develop my bishop taking control here But he could jump in here and attack my bishop. So maybe it's better to go here and swing over to there. All right, we'll do that. We will. Okay, so he attacks there. And now. My queen can protect that. All right, I will protect. And he piles up there. So I will attack that bishop. So he does that. I will recapture. He attacks. And I just move the rook back. And see what he is planning next. Okay. Do I push forward with my knight? I think that would be a decent move. Then I can threaten his queen. Okay, so push my knight forward. Threaten to jump back over to c5, attacking his queen. Or I can just stay there and see if he uh, creates a weakness by pushing forward and attacking. Okay, leaves his king in the center. Hmm. All right. Well, do I capture or do I attack his queen now? I think we will do that. Attack his queen. And what will he do next? What 
will he do? Okay, so he moves there. Hmm. And now I should develop my queen. All right, so just develop my queen up and then get my other rook into the game that is not doing anything. Okay, we'll just do that. I can put this rook up into the game, double up my rooks aimed at his king. And see what he does next. Okay, interesting. He just pushes that forward. All right. Well, I guess I should follow through with my plan of doubling up the rooks. So my rooks are doubled up, aimed at the king. Is there a way I can break through? Okay, do I push my knight forward into his position? Hmm, or do I chase his knight away? Do I chase that? All right, we'll provoke some weaknesses by pushing forward with my knight, checking him, just see what he does here. Okay, now, what to do, what to do? Okay, well, I could get my pawns off the colored square of his bishop and on the opposite color as my bishop. That is one plan. All right. Well, what's the time looking like? I'm falling behind on time here. So, what can we do? What can we do? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's think about this. We got our pieces in a fairly decent position, but how can we make, how can we move forward here? Oh, we can chase his knight away and then capture here. It looks like that works, but we'll have a weakness. Have a weakness there. All right, that could be a plan. Can we do more with that? All right, if we chase this knight away and we pile up here, what can we do? What can we do? Hmm, he's gonna counterattack down through the middle there. All right, all right. But we can capture with check and chase this king. So let's do that. Let's create a weakness. But we can capture with check and then potentially cause problems with that knight and my bishop can bear down on this rook after we capture this. All right, I think that might be a good little breakthrough. Okay, 
So now we can check him. Is the bishop move any better? Attacking, he would move. I say the check is better. So we'll do that. Check. So we're checking. And okay so he goes there we could check him again and then take his rook i think that that plan will work do we have any better moves any better moves okay check now do i Check his queen again with my, do I check his queen with my queen? What can he do there? If he goes up here, I can get this bishop for free. So that may work, but it gets the queens off the board and I'll be ahead in material. So I think we'll go with that. I think that is what we will do. All right. Okay, but let's take a quick look to see if there's anything better here. All right. Check threats. We can check with the queen. We can check with the knight. Hmm. Is there anything better? Check with the queen to get the queen involved. He'll probably block with his queen. All right, we'll just do that. See what he does. Okay, so he does that. And now we can get the queens off the board. Hmm. If we check him again, does that do anything? He would have to move. And protect his queen. Okay, so I'm going to say... We might as well trade queens and go in for the extra material into the end game. And we should be good. But I don't know, that's going to be a weakness. I mean, we could let that fall and just have a pawn majority over here. All right. We'll get rid of the queens. Pull that king into the middle. And we can gobble up that. We can check him by taking this. So we get another pawn out of the deal. Then we swing back down, protecting this pawn, which he will probably pile up one with the rook so we have to protect that okay so he does that all right we can limit his bishop by attacking it so we do that Now the bishop will retreat. We can fork. Oh, we just have all kinds of attacks available here. So a fork. Then we can attack him again. Yeah, this game, he'll probably resign here shortly because now we're just picking off everything. And he resigns. Okay. 
All right, so I got a crazy attack going in that game. So that was a little more interesting than the first game, which was kind of long and drawn out. Okay, so here we'll do a quick game review. Uh, two mistakes. So let's see here. Analyzing and... All right, his accuracy was 79.2, mine was 89.4. Um, we had no brilliant moves or great moves. Um, best move, I had 13 to his nine. He had nine excellent moves to my eight. So we're pretty even in a lot of the game. All right. So it says intense. Nice win. You were never in trouble. Um, start the review. <clears throat> okay. So here. Mm, it just blitzed right through all those moves. Okay. So I had a better move here. It says this was an inaccuracy. I overlooked an opportunity to kick a knight. Oh, so it... Is recommending that I kick that knight earlier in the game. Interesting. Hmm. So best would have been this pawn push to kick that knight. If it goes here, I could attack. But then he could attack my knight. And then we have this. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see if he moves here, then what? If he moves there, then both of two attackers piled up on this. So I don't know if I if I like that. Although I could try and block, and he could. I don't know. That would have, that looked like that line might have got a little crazy. But it said that was best. Let's see what it shows. It shows him moving over here. But if he would have moved here. Trying to pile up on this and threatening to kick my knight away. I don't, uh, his king's stuck in the middle. All right, anyway, we'll go on to the next option here. C5 is best. This is the way to win a knight. Okay, so. All right, so it says that is the best way to win a knight. The knight has to move here, show the moves. Huh, why didn't he retreat that knight? Why? Okay, so if I would have moved there, this is a way to win the knight because queen has to go to d3. Well, what if he just jumped in there? Huh. I guess it doesn't want to allow what happened later this attack here checking the king and then he was just in a lot of trouble after that all right which yeah now all these checks happen and it's pretty rough for white after this all right this was an excellent move this is the way to win a bishop all right, you really outplayed your opponent in that one. The opening was balanced. It was a well-fought middle game. You got uh, a well-fought middle game that you got the better of. So it gave him a 1,300 rating and me a 1,600 in that game. Um, my opening accuracy was 94, or sorry, his was 94, mine was 96. Um, middle game accuracy, he had 71.7 and I had 86.5 and we didn't, get into the end game all right uh well if you've stuck around this long thank you guys uh i'm only going to do two games today so it doesn't go too long and i hope you enjoyed this if you have please like and subscribe and also feel free to leave comments or suggestions thank you and have a great day everybody